Hello and welcome to I Heart Gardening. This is Nadine and today's video is a plant room tour at the request of my Auntie Shirley who wanted to see what I've been doing in here. Up until about four months ago this plant room was a bedroom. I took the furniture out and then had to buy some new console tables, a new shelving unit, and then I had to buy a lot of plants to fill this place up. I had to buy a lot of plant pots too. The first big plant shopping I did was at Ikea and I got that white pot that the peace lily was in. And then I got the Strelitzia or Bird of Paradise that's inside this teal colored pot. And this Bird of Paradise has been doing very well for me. It's been growing lots of new leaves and I'm just totally impressed with this plant, with the size of it, the new growth of it. It's actually kind of magnificent, I think. And it fills up the corner very nicely. On the bottom shelf of this console table, I've got two bird's nest sansevarias on the outer corners. In the middle with this striking foliage is a lemon lime maranta. And in the back in the two blue pots there is a marble queen pothos on the left and a cyclamen on the right. The lemon lime maranta was maybe not looking so hot when I first bought it. You can see some of the leaves have some brown tips on them but I do have a new leaf coming through there so I think this plant will be okay. I think these bird's nest sansevaria are so cute. And you can see that this one's got some new growth just poking out of the soil. There's the Marble Queen Pothos. It's got very lovely variegation on it. And I'll show you this cyclamen, but it's not my favorite plant. I'm thinking maybe I need to replace this with something I love more. The console table I ordered online from Wayfair. I really like it. It's functional and looks pretty too. The photograph is one that I took while I was at the Victoria Butterfly Gardens and then just had that enlarged. I wanted something with a garden theme and that worked for me. The plants that I've got here on the left side I have a Chinese Evergreen or Aglionema and on the right side is a Diefenbachia. Those are my two bigger anchor plants and I've got an Anthurium in the middle and two silver sparkle pilea that are trailing over the front edge. The Chinese evergreen is so far living up to its reputation of being an easy care plant. I haven't had to fuss with this one too much at all. A lot of these plants I just bought within the last four months and when I bought them it was December and winter so not the growing season. So it's only been within the last maybe a month or so that a lot of these plants have started putting on a lot of growth and these Pilea Silver Sparkle have grown the most noticeably. This is the Diefenbachia. I think I have a thing for variegated leaves. A couple weeks ago this one was not looking so hot it had a lot of leaves that were turning yellow and falling off, but I think it's happy now. It's rebounded. It's getting lots of new growth and looks like it's going to be okay. I've got hanging baskets in the corners of the room and macrame hangers. This plant here is Pearls and Jade Pothos. This one is an ivy. It's got that yellow and green variegation that I'm such a sucker for. This one is Marble Queen Pothos, but so far putting on the least amount of growth. This one is a Sansevieria, another IKEA special, but I think IKEA does a pretty good job of selecting plants that are easy to grow and that people will have success with. So I actually really like the Sansevierias just because they are so low maintenance. Like you can forget to water them for a couple of weeks at least and they'll be fine. And then behind that Sansevieria, I've got a ZZ plant. 
Now this plant I wasn't sure about when I first got it because I thought it was kind of weird looking but now it's growing on me. I am actually really liking the structure of it and kind of reminds me of spiral staircase. When I put this room together I wanted it to be a place where I could come and sit and relax and have a place that was very bright and refreshing and with all the green plants in here not feel like it was winter at all. I chose this room to be my plant room because it's got a bright south facing window. The walls are light colored so it's always nice and bright in here. But I've got all my sun loving plants right in front of the window. I've got a cute little aloe here that I finally figured out likes to stay dry. As soon as I stopped watering it, then it started growing. This is a variegated peperomia. I don't know the exact variety. When I bought this gardenia from the greenhouse, it was covered in very fragrant white blooms. And the tag on it said you need to keep it in a small pot so it blooms. But when I brought it home, I probably let it get too dry and all the blooms fell off. The leaves turned yellow and started falling off so I've started watering this much more frequently like every couple of days and it's got one bud on there but I, I might just have to put it in a bigger pot just so that I can keep it properly watered. This one is Peperomia Ripple and then behind that I've got a Gluxinia. This Gloxinia is probably the oldest plant I have in my collection. This was handed down to me from my Auntie Myrna a couple years ago and she told me that it belonged to my Baba Kizik, who is my great grandmother. This plant will bloom. Um, I, one time it had pink blooms, one time it had purple blooms. I don't know, there, I've actually kind of killed this plant a couple times, but it keeps coming back as long as it's properly watered and I think I finally figured out that it does best with lots of light because you can see how big the leaves are. When I had this plant further away from the window uh, the stems were a lot longer and the leaves were smaller but it's actually pretty happy in this spot. It's actually hard showing you these plants when I've got such strong backlight coming from the window. But here I've got another variegated kind of peperomia and in the silver pot on the corner is some parsley and then behind is a Sansevieria cylindrica. I'm using this room to do some seed starting as well. On my windowsill I've got some kale and leeks started and this is morning glory and perennial rudbeckia. And I think those morning glories have doubled in size since yesterday. In this corner, I've got some big floor plants. I wanted a lush feeling, so I bought some big plants to fill up this room. This one is Ficus elastica tanniki. It's a variegated rubber tree. The variegation on the leaves on this one kind of look like camouflage. But this plant was kind of winter damaged when I bought it from the greenhouse but has improved so much since I bought it. Got lots of new growth and new leaves on it. This one is called Domino Spathophyllum. It's a variegated peace lily and I think becoming one of my favorite plants. This one is actually two smaller plants that I put together in one pot to give it a really full look. In the back corner, I've got another Sansevieria mother-in-law's tongue. This one I've had, I think, for about 20 years. And it's rehabbing here in this plant room where I can shut the door so my dog can't get at it. My dog actually ate about half the leaves on this thing, but it's doing fine. That French bulldog might actually be the star of this show. The last plant to show you in this corner is a Hawaiian sunshine bush dracaena. I 
I've got a shelving unit here with grow lights on the bottom two shelves so I could do some vegetable gardening and seed starts and on the top two shelves I've got more houseplant collection. I've got mostly ferns on the top shelf because I have to keep them all together so I can do frequent watering and not forget about them. But I've also got some ivy propagation so I can put them in baskets outside this summer. The front two ones there, I'm really careful about watering just because they have the sharply serrated leaves. And then the two ferns I have at the back are more broad or wide shaped leaves that can handle drying out a little bit better. This one is a bird's nest fern and behind it, the pink one, is another Chinese evergreen or aglionema. This one is my favorite fern. It's called crispy wave, but to me it looks like crispy bacon. On this shelf from left to right, I've got a curly bonnie spider plant. And there's a syngonium at the back. This one is another ivy. Again, I've taken cuttings of that one too. And in the blue pot is called a rattlesnake calathea. And it's supposed to be one of the least fussy calatheas. Um, I've read that some of the other calatheas are quite picky about how they're watered. They like to be watered with distilled water, but this one I'm just doing with regular water and is doing fine so far. This one is lemon lime philodendron and has been growing quite well, so may need to go into a hanging basket soon. And then the one at the back I think is called Schifflera. Under the grow lights, I've got my vegetables I've started from seed. I've got a few different varieties of tomatoes. I've got some purple kale and some Brussels sprouts. And these will need to go outside now to be hardened off. Under these grow lights is my sad looking vegetable garden. I kind of panicked when coronavirus started and thought, oh gosh, I need to start growing my own vegetables. And it was still winter at the time. So I've planted some carrots and radish in there with the radish the stems look pretty spindly and in the second pot I've got some arugula and beans and really the beans are the only ones that look any good but I can put these ones outside I think to harden off now too. This is my last plant to show you it's a lemon lime dracaena and I've noticed I have a thing for anything called lemon lime. Uh, this plant is also rehabbing from being eaten by the dog. Um, he ate a lot of the bottom leaves, so I had a stem with just a few leaves on top. So I cut the stem and stuck it directly into the soil. And now I think that it's rooted and it's got some new growth on it. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together my plant room and seeing my plant collection. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye bye.